National Treasures Day. It's kind of like Christmas, right? It's like Christmas for breaking when National Treasures comes out. I'm so excited. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do tonight. We've got a, a, a oh, I can't even speak. We have a Leaf Autograph Multisport jersey that we're going to break, as well as a case of National Treasures football and then a case of Valiant Baseball. So, we've got a little pre-break info to go over. Let's get rolling with that first up. Feedback, automated, 100% automated on eBay, so you don't ever have to wait on me. And, of course, uh, the more important message there is to say thank you. I do appreciate you bidding, breaking, chatting, hanging out with me uh, on this Friday night as we get ready to get into a little NT football momentarily. This is a list of breaks that are coming up. This stuff is already listed on eBay. We're going to be breaking it over the next few nights. So tomorrow night, Encased Football and Select Basketball, both by the full case. Selection Sunday. I know, i got to get March Madness kicked off right. It's an off night uh, for breaking on Sunday night. Monday night, we'll do Leaf Valiant Baseball again and National Treasures Football again. Tuesday night, a half case of Heritage Baseball. That's the back half of the case for those of you who keep track of that sort of thing. On Wednesday, we're finally going to open those four boxes of Origins first off the line that I've just had sitting here on the table for ages. <laughs> we're actually going to break those on Wednesday night. And we will also break Inception Baseball, which is a new release on Wednesday. And the case of Cornerstones Basketball, which is, you got it, another new release that comes out on Wednesday. Now, here's the information for tonight. We've got one free shipping break. That's the multi-sport jersey. It will be on the way to the winning bidder on or before Friday a week from today. Free stuff, uh, free shipping stuff is always projected out a week after the fact, but most often will ship uh, sooner than that, sometimes a lot sooner than that. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, that's NT Football, Valiant Baseball. I anticipate being able to get on the way uh, to you by Monday. That's my expectation. As always, if something goes better than planned, it may go out faster. If something were to go worse than expected, it could go a day later. But I think Monday is realistic uh, in our projection there. Now, consolation cards. If your team is not pulled in your break, meaning you don't get anything, uh, you don't get the memorabilia item if you're in that break, or you don't get even so much as a base card if you're in one of the other breaks, you are entitled to consolation cards. It can be from any year in any series. I keep track of it for a rolling 90 days. If you're in the multi-sport jersey break and you get blanked, usually I hold on to the consolation cards to ship with your next package simply because it is a free shipping break. But if you want it sent right away, all you need to do, hit me up, let me know, I will take care of it. If you get skunked in NT football or Valiant baseball, your consolation card or cards will ship out with the rest of the break since it's a paid shipping break. So first up tonight, 2019 Leaf Autograph Multi-Sport Jersey. This is break number six. Of course, the spots are sold by the first letter of the last name which means, you know, Hank Aaron would go to the A, Bryce Harper to the H, and so on and so forth. A couple of letters didn't sell. That's, uh, looks like D, I, and V, W. So if anything came out for one of those, it would hang out here with me. There is also uh, the possibility of pulling a Jets multi-signed jersey or a USA Hockey multi-signed jersey. If we pull either one of those, you saw there, it had its own bidding spot. It would go to that bidding spot. Now, if you are in one of these other breaks, uh, hang tight. You're going to see your name up there as soon as we get to your break. And most finally, uh, yeah, you probably noticed the background went out of focus. Don't worry a thing about that because that was on purpose. We're going to be able to see it all. No worries. Alan J is here. Alan J, yes, I saw that uh, Zion came back last night and the Blue Devils uh, were tearing it up with Zion back on the court, that's for sure. Greg is here, and Griffin is here. Kevin and uh, Chubby Miller time here as well. All right, this looks like a football jersey. Feels like a football jersey, too. So let's see who this is. Dan, Dean, I don't know who that is. Looks like H is the last, anyway. Hall of Fame signature inscription, a leaf authenticated hologram sticker. Oh, it's Hampton. Golly, it's Dan Hampton. I should have recognized that signature. Um, all right, so Dan Hampton, and there's your leaf 
COA, it's like a little credit card size thing. And why did I think that said Dave? I don't know, too much Red Bull, I guess. So this goes to um, bidding position H, because obviously Hampton starts with an H. Okay, so now on to the main event. Well, for me, it's the main event. Uh, it's National Treasures Football because it just came out today. I have been dying all day long to get into this. I am super stoked to see what we get. So you just saw this a second ago, right? Unless you, ju unless you jumped in uh, after we looked at it. I'm not going to read through it all again, but you can read through it if you didn't see it a moment ago and hit me up with any questions. A four-box case of 2018 National Treasures Football. This is a full case break, and it is break number one, of course. Everything we're opening tonight into tonight on eBay, Friday night, the 15th of March. We've got our team names on the left. Winning bidders are across from it there on the right-hand side. And we've got not a lot of National Treasures. I think... Four, maybe five cases is what I ended up with. Like, not as much as I had hoped. But um, enough that we'll have plenty to open it for a little while. Of course, as you know, I only have a couple of breaks scheduled for it right now. But we'll be adding more breaks into it uh, midweek next week. We'll start adding more in. So you'll see more appearing. One, one more already scheduled and up and running, as we saw a moment ago. But more to come. And um, let's see what we got. Let's see what we can find. Let me get some sleeves out first, actually. Let's get that part done. Then we'll uh, start busting into it here. Nicholas is here. Hi, Nicholas. I. How have you been? Have you been keeping up with all the news? I'm sure you have been that... Uh, all the free agency news in the off season. I'm just frankly glad to be free of the drama at this point of Le'Veon and uh, and uh, Antonio. For those of you who are wondering, Nicholas is. I'm a Steelers fan. I like a lot of players on a lot of teams, and I enjoy watching many teams play, but. At the heart of the matter, I am a flat-out black and gold Steelers fan, as is Nicholas. He bids uh, in here with us from time to time on the Steelers. And so just when I saw him pop in there, I knew that uh, I could throw out some Steelers questions to him. <laughs> uh, you, that's so funny. I was just saying about glad the drama's over, and then you're typing in there, glad the drama's over. <laughs> I know, I think we agree on that one. Bobby B is here. Bobby B, hey, hey, hey. You are looking for the Eagles. Ezekiel needs the Packers. And Chubby Miller Time says, uh, Tyreek Hill broke a kid's arm. Are we talking about, like, past Tyreek Hill? We're not talking about a current Tyreek Hill, right? Because he just, or no. No, no, no. I'm thinking Kareem Hunt, Tyreek Hill, what is, what is going on there in Kansas City? Just happened Tyree killed it? Good grief. No, I'm thinking Kareem Hunt, whose suspension just got handed down uh, today. Eight games it is. That he will be suspended and lose, I don't know, whatever it is, like $300,000 or something, which to those guys I think is not a whole lot of money, honestly. But anyway... That's the deal, so the Browns will be able to put him in action after eight games. But no, I hadn't heard the Tyreek Hill thing, so that is, uh, oh man, that's going to be crazy. And was that, it's like, some, oh man, some kind of fight or something, I'm assuming. Maybe a current thing. Orlando, you need the Colts. Nicholas said, you've been seeing some killer cases of this, so it's been coming out well this year. All right, well, I'm glad to hear that. Kevin, you need the Broncos. And Bobby B says, oh, there will be Broncos. <laughs> 
Alan J, I actually meant to set, to list those empty boxes as a as a bidding spot, and I forgot to do it. So it's uh, I forget that more often than I remember it. I keep some of them myself, uh, and then I usually do. Uh, offer some up or I may offer some up but um, I'll figure that out at some point obviously whatever didn't get uh, up this time at some point I'll I'll get listed or we'll figure out what I'm going to do with whatever I don't keep that is number to 75 David Johnson and the Cardinals is first out Joey Bosa to 99 for the Chargers Joe Flacco and the Ravens to 99 and there's a little Baker Mayfield we'd like to see one with some ink on it but nonetheless it's a good way to start if you're the Browns seeing Baker in there it's got to give you a little bit of a sigh of relief right <laughs> that is numbered to 99 you've got a pair of relics there one football one uniform Dalvin Cook numbered to 49 Minnesota Vikings All right, we have Jared Goff, numbered to 25, Treasured Patches. And that is actually a pretty nice relic, isn't it? I mean, it should be. We are in National Treasures, after all. But that, that is a solid relic there for Mr. Goff and the Rams. The Kansas City Chiefs, numbered to 99 with Larry Johnson. Next is DJ Chark. It is numbered to 99 for the Jags. Bobby B, you were asking, are you asking me a question about Game Worn or are you asking Nicholas a question about his statement of what he pulled earlier? I'm not sure which that's directed to, me or the chat thread. Earl Thomas, that is numbered to 10 for the Seahawks. And there's Mr. Josh Allen, and it's to 25. I wish the relic had two different colors in it, but hey, come on. Josh Allen to 25, rookie, nice hit. If you're the Buffalo Bills, you got to be a little bit uh, happy about that one, I think. Or a lot happy about that one, as the case may be. All right. There's Mr. Alvin Kamara to 75. New Orleans, New Orleans. To 25, Curtis Martin and the Jets. Terry Bradshaw, hey, hey. That's my Pittsburgh Steelers. And it is numbered to 99. Looks like I've got a... a Pair of Carolina Panthers coming up next. McCaffrey and Newton to 99. I saw where Ryan Tannehill got shipped off to the Titans, by the by. That is to 25 for the Broncos with Vaughn Miller. Yeah, you had to kind of figure that was, you know, Tannehill was going somewhere. He'll actually probably see the field in, in Tennessee as much as Mariota was hurt this past year. You got to figure that'll happen. Oh, this looks like, uh, well, actually, we're not going to have to take this to random because it's 51% Giants. Um, Saquon, Kyle Lolletta, and Sam Darnold numbered to 99. So the deal, for those of you who might not know, if we pull a card that has more than one team on it, you have to own 51% or more to take it outright. If you don't own 51% or more of the teams represented on the card, it goes to random. In that case, uh, two of the three teams obviously is way more than 51%. Lorenzo Carter for the Giants. That is number two. 59. And that one is actually a sticker uh, autograph. You can probably tell that, right? Cortland Sutton, Rookie Jumbo Signatures. So that's probably something that the Broncos might have been waiting on, right? You like that a little bit. And it is numbered to 99 and 
looks like the edge and it's actually helpful that when the uh, spines are white instead of another color we may as well look at this usually we wait until the end of the break but it was sitting there face up anyway Chris Carter and Randy Moss synced signatures one would assume that is going to be Vikings but we will double check it of course at the end of the break and we will also um, well you know what it might not be though uh, I don't know we'll look it up at the end of the break, we'll go to the Panini website and check it out and see what it says about it. Christian Kirk and the Arizona Cardinals. That is number 249. So we'll have to check that out. It wasn't the Sony Michelle Redemption, but you're right, Bobby B., that he is a likely candidate. He's been redemptions in everything for uh, the last half of the season. So you were right in guessing that it could have been him. Okay, this is number 99 for the Bengals, Anthony Munoz. Big Ben Roethlisberger to 25 for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans, that numbered to 99. This is also numbered to 99, a relic for Archie Manning. Wow. That is uh, traveling way back in time, isn't it? Now, wait, I said I set one of those over there with the base cards. Uh, no, that's not where that goes. Deshaun Watson and the Texans, numbered to 49. The Raiders, Derek Carr and Marshawn Lynch to 25. The Bengals get a hit. It is a sticker autograph, but still. Sam Hubbard to 75. Cincinnati Bengals. Numbered to 99, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Autograph dual relic. Ronald Jones. There's another redemption. I will be mean and leave that one face down. We'll save that one. Look at it at the end. Lions. You like carry on Johnson to 5, right? Nice hit there. Detroit. And your hot young rookie carry on. If he had been, if he hadn't gotten a little nagging injury, he probably would have even been a little better than we thought he was going to be this past year. So, don't think you can be too sad about that with Detroit. Miles Garrett to 99 for the Browns. Brian Urlacher to 35 Bears. Here come the Colts, Peyton Manning to 99. So we've seen Archie, we've seen Peyton, we're missing uh, Eli, right? Maybe he'll show up. That is for the Bears with Allen Robinson. Is that, where's my number on that? Oh, there it is, to 49. I'm like, why can't I see the number? Leonard Fournette and the Jags to 49. Here come the Eagles to 10. Carson Wentz. The Minnesota Vikings on deck. And the Vikings are numbered to 49. That is uh, a sticker. And it is Tyler Conklin. Naheem Hines makes an appearance for the Colts. That is numbered to 99. Had lots of 99s, haven't we, tonight? How about that? If you got the 49ers, you got a little Jimmy G, baby. And there are only five of them. And this is the first in the series as well. It's number one of five. Uh, so if you have the 49ers... That's a nice hit. I wish it had been hard signed, but nonetheless, you don't have a lot of Jimmy G autographs floating around out there, so solid hit. To 99, Bradley Chubb and the Broncos. Now we've got to check out our redemptions. One of them, of course, we already looked at because I just let you see it early since it was sitting there face up. The other one we're going to reveal here in a hot second then we will go to the panini website and we will look up each of them on their website detail where they go and find out what they're numbered to 
So once again, the one we have already seen is uh, Chris Carter and Randy Moss synced signatures. The one which we're waiting to see is Sony Michelle. Somebody called that earlier. Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures booklet brand logo. Oh, so that's going to be a really good one. That might be a one of one even potentially. You never know. But we're going to find out. That's what the Panini website's going to help us out with. We're going to we're going to head over there and get a little 411 from Panini. So I had us partially set up already as you can see. So we're going to go sync signatures first and get that one all verified and ready to go. Good grief. Gotta scroll a while. Alright, and it is card number 10 and Vikings, which is what I what I said, what I thought, but then I have wanted to make sure. And it is numbered to 10. So Vikings to 10 with the dual signature there for Chris Carter and Randy Moss. What a nice hit. Now we've got to go to our next card set. And that one is the big, long, 100-word thing. <laughs> Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures Booklet Brand Logo. Right? That's going to take a while. How do they even fit all that in here? Where even is it? Rookie Jumbo Prime Signatures Booklet brand logo is this it rookie jumbo why do they both look the same i don't know if this is it or not i guess it is because there it is all right so sony michelle of course we knew he was a patriot what we wanted to know is what we think is going to be numbered to it looks like it's going to be numbered to two but just out of curiosity i do want to go look and see what that other one said, because you notice there were two card sets right there together that uh, looked like they were almost identical. So what's the difference, I wonder? Is there a difference? No, there's no difference. So they both, so whichever one of those it is, I mean, they look the same to me. I don't know why it's on there twice, but at any rate, um, it is going to be numbered to two. So I thought we might get lucky and it would be a one of one. But nonetheless, come on, to two, still good, right? Still good. Okay, so let's recap, kids. And uh, after we do the recap here, of course, we'll be then moving into Valiant Baseball. So for those of you who are holding on, waiting for Valiant, uh, just a couple more minutes here while we recap. All right? Okay, so we have uh, the redemption here for the Vikings to 10. Chris Carter and Randy Moss. Oh, and hi, Stang Lover and Buckeye. And uh, Bobby, you said, what did you say? Missing what? Missing the Eagles? I'm confused. I'm confused by that. And Vladislav is here. Ryan, for sure, we're gonna we're doing the hit recap right now. And Kimo is here. Hi, Kimo. Patriots to two with a Sony Michelle. Naeem Hines and the Colts. Carson Wentz for the Eagles. Leonard Fournette and the Jags. A little Peyton Manning action for the Colts. The Bengals got involved with Sam Hubbard. We have Bradley Chubb for the Broncos. Nice Jimmy G for the 49ers, number 2-5. The Oakland Raiders, Derek Carr and Marshawn Lynch. The Vikings, uh, Tyler Conklin. Vikings ended up with a pretty good little break there, didn't they? The Bears, to five for the Lions with Carrion Johnson. Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Ronald Jones. Derek Henry for the Tennessee Titans. The Saints hit Daddy Manning. That is Archie. Christian Kirk for the Cardinals. Deshaun Watson for the Texans. There's that handsome Josh Allen card, number 225. If you're the Buffalo Bills, that has to make you happy. Booklet, Cortland Sutton. 
Looks like the spine's in pretty good shape as a whole. Of course, you've got a huge relic on the left, the signature there on the right. It is numbered to 99. The Giants, Lorenzo Carter. This goes to the Giants by default because they own two of the three spots. That means they own 51% or more of the teams on the cards. So the Saquon Barkley, Kyle Lawletta, Sam Darnold uh, relic there goes to the Giants because they have two of the three spots. Earl Thomas and the Seahawks. DJ Chark for the Jags. The Kansas City Chiefs hit Larry Johnson. You had another Viking with Dalvin Cook. There's Vaughn Miller for the Broncos. Panthers, McCaffrey, and Cam Newton. My Pittsburgh Steelers managed to sneak in there one with a Terry Bradshaw relic. Another booklet. This one is Jared Goff. It happens to be numbered to 25 for the Rams. And our last two that we see here are the first two that we saw when we started. One, Baker Mayfield for the Cleveland Browns. It is numbered to 99. Piece of the football, piece of the jersey. And then you had Joe Flacco out for the Ravens. That is also numbered to 99. So that is NT football for tonight. Oh, oh, chemo, that makes good sense. I just looked over there. He said probably the reason that that uh, shows up twice on the checklist is that there is probably one version is the vertical booklet and one version is the horizontal booklet. That is, that is a good point. Yes, well done. I did not think of that. <laughs> See, it takes me a minute. It takes me a minute to get in gear, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, chemo. That makes perfect sense. I think that would be correct. Okay, if you were not here earlier and you didn't see this, here's the 411 NT and Valiant. I believe will be on the way to you uh, by Monday or on Monday, most likely. If everything went as smooth as possible, it might get out tomorrow, but I kind of doubt it because the post office closes really early on Saturdays. And if something went way off the rails, it could go to Tuesday, but I think it'll ship Monday. If you didn't get pulled or don't get pulled in NT or Valiant, you are going to get your Constellation cards shipping out with the rest of the break because those are paid breaks. The multi-sport jersey will be on the way to you no later than a week from today, often sooner, sometimes much sooner, but no later than that. And if you didn't land something in that break because it's a free shipping break, typically uh, your Constellation cards would just ship with your next package. If you want it sent sooner, drop me a line. We'll hook you up. This is a 12-box case of 2018 Leaf Valiant Baseball. It is a uh, full case break. It's break number three. Of course, it also ended tonight on eBay, Friday night, the 15th of March. We have one team in here that has no hits in the product. That is the Minnesota Twins. So the Twins are not listed for sale. Every once in a while, kids, I get into autopilot mode when I'm listing, and I will accidentally forget and list the Twins. If that happens and somebody sees it, Feel free, please, to send me a message and say, hey, idiot, you've forgotten listed it so that I can end it. <laughs> but I don't do it every time. In fact, lots of times I remember not to list it, but then I'll, if I go a day or two, I'll forget and then go back and catch it and have to deal with it uh, after the fact. So that's the deal for there. Oh, Griffin, he says he didn't he didn't like what we pulled out of NT tonight. He didn't think it was he didn't think what we had tonight was impress all that impressive. Well, you know, like anything, some cases are hotter than others, but there were definitely some nice cards in there. Uh, the redemptions will be too bad we didn't have those two in hand because those will both be very nice. And obviously, Jimmy G to five was good. I mean, there's definitely good stuff in there, no question. But, like anything else, some cases are absolutely on fire. Some cases, uh, they just have a slow-burning ember. Nicholas, you are out of here. All right, my friend, we will catch you the next time. 
<laughs> Stang lover, we did not find your red skins, did we? So we're going to have to try to do better for you here in Valiant. And did you tell me that you have three teams in Valiant tonight? Is that what you told me? I know you sent me a message saying we needed to hit you a graded card in here tonight to try to try to get things on track for you in that regard. But I can't remember which teams you said you had. So you got to let me know on that one. <laughs> Griffin, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean for sure. Everybody's got uh, everybody's got their own idea of what makes a case good or bad, and oftentimes I think it for me anyway. A lot of times it just depends on how my teams did. You know, if my teams did really well, <laughs> it doesn't matter what the rest of the case is. I'm like, yeah, that case is awesome. <laughs> And if the rest of the case is like all one of ones and worth a zillion dollars and my team doesn't hit anything, I'm like, oh man, that case was terrible. <laughs> I know. I know this about myself though. So see, at least I recognize that. That I am that way. <laughs> Orlando National Treasures did break. It sure did. We just finished uh, up the recap of it here a couple minutes ago, right before we busted into... Valiant to get it rolling. So we uh, doesn't take long to get through NT, of course, just a four box case and not not that many cards per box. So it doesn't take us long. Actually, this doesn't take us a terribly long time, but it does have significantly more hits, so it takes a little while. And guess what showed up today that I guess I somehow didn't realize the release date was today. <laughs> Leaf Draft Football is here. Whoops, don't have that listed. Now do I? And they have two different versions. You know, last year we opened it. And you may or may not remember this, but it's um, they package the hits separately in Leaf Draft Football. So there are base cards. But the base cards are in packs and the hits are packaged separately. So when we opened it last year, we just opened the hits and then each team got a handful of base cards. We'll do the same thing this year. But instead of just having blasters or whatever, this year they have a hobby version of it. So it has more autographs in it per case. So anyway, we have a couple cases of it. So we will be starting on some 2019 football, but I forgot it was coming out today or something. So... It's not listed yet. Jordan Adams to 99. That is the Angels. There's Urias Padres, numbered to five. San Diego's off to a good start. Shane Bieber. Shane is numbered to 99. Isn't he an Astro? I better double check him. He might be an Indian. I always get him mixed up. Um, he's an Indian. Yeah, sorry. Shane Bieber, Indians. Indians, Indians. Oh, so see, there you go, Stang Lover. You have the Reds, the Indians, and the Royals, so there you go. Alan, Alan J., you need some Red Sox and some Tigers. There's a Nolan Gorman. I know who's looking for that. Chemo's looking for that. It is numbered to 99. So I know he's off to a good start there. And our first graded card, I believe that's headed to Chemo, too. That is Logan Gilbert. For the Mariners, it is 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. Card is numbered to 35. So I know you want Kalenic out of the Mariners. I do get that. But, um, you know, still good to see that. Which, by the way, for anybody, I think most of you have broken this uh, before with me. But if someone hasn't, uh, you notice, of course, there are no team names on these, right? or cities or anything else uh, listed on these because they can't. They don't have the license to do it. So they go to their current teams. For instance, Cole Roterer here is a Chicago Cub. So he's headed there, numbered to 99. Ryan Weathers, Padres to 35. Jason Schroeder, Jason is numbered to 99. He is an Astro. I finally got uh, got an Astro after I called the other one that for that a minute ago <laughs> by accident. Fernando Tatis Jr. 
Padres making you happy to 99. Our graded card, Mason Denneberg, Nationals. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade, and it is numbered to 99. Griffin, you're out of here. All right, brother. Well, we will see you again soon, Griffin. Alec Thomas, Diamondbacks to 99. Nico. Nico to 35 is uh, a cub. And you know, somebody needed him the other night. <laughs> Was in here, had broken several uh, different cases of leaf looking for Nico. And, of course, we didn't hit him in that case. And here he is tonight. And I don't think they have the same person. I don't think has the Cubs tonight. Brady Singer for the Royals to 99. Wander Franco, Tampa Bay Rays to 99. The graded card, Caden Griner, 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 well, whatever, for the Baltimore Orioles, it grades to 9.5, autograph grade to 10, card is numbered to 10 for Baltimore. DJ Peters, Dodgers, 99. Braxton Ashcraft is also numbered to 99, and Braxton was a pirate. Nick Madrigal is a White Sock. He's to 35. This might be Acuna. Yeah, it is. The Atlanta Braves get their man, Ronald Acuna, to 99. The graded card is one Jackson Coar, Kansas City Royals. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade, card numbered to 99. Oh, tell you what, that foamy stuff... Sometimes like leaves little residue. In fact, most of the time it leaves little residue on things. Jonathan India, my Cincinnati Reds, numbered to 99. Will Banfield to 99 for the Miami Marlins, I think. I always have to double check him. Yeah, Marlins. There's Griffin for the Toronto Blue Jays. That one happens to be numbered to five. Whoops. Let's try that again. There's your Jared Kalinick. You're having a good night tonight, Chemo. We're getting everything you're looking for. We're racking them up for you. And your Kalinick is numbered to 10. Oh, worth the wait, right, man? Yeah, I like that. When a plan comes together, it's a good thing. Jordan Adams, Angels. Card grades to 9.5. Autograph grade to 10. Card is numbered to 35. Yeah, you did specifically say um, uh, Jonathan India, didn't you, Stang Lover? So we hit we hit at least one that you specifically asked for. We're getting you there. Xavier Edwards is a San Diego Padre. He is numbered to thirty five. And how about another Jared Kalinick? How about we just keep it rolling for you tonight, Chemo? This one is numbered to twenty five. Also, the Mariners. Mike Ciani, Cincinnati Reds to 99. A redemption for Juan Soto and the Nationals. I see a black label coming. We've got a black label. Perfect, perfect, as good as it gets, 10. And it is Josh Stowers. Josh is, of course, a Yankee. He was traded to the Yankees in January. So the New York Yankees, perfect, black label 10, Josh Dowers, card is numbered to 99. Ryder Green, he is also a Yankee, numbered to 99. Daniel Lynch, Kansas City Royals, 99. Ryan Weathers Padres to 35. Here comes a one of one printing plate. It is Jason Schroeder. Jason, of course, is an Astro. Ooh, a graded Acuna. Ha ha. Braves. 9.5 card grade. 10 autograph grade. Card is numbered 299. This one feels heavy. 
This box feels heavier than the other boxes. I don't know why it shouldn't. It has the exact same content in it, but for some reason it felt heavier. Is that weird? Kind of. Matthew Libatore to 25 Tampa Bay Rays. Chris Bubbick, 15 Kansas City Royals. Uh, Jeremiah Jackson is an angel, numbered to 99. Beau Bichette is a Blue Jay to 99. And our graded card is Seth Beer. Seth is an Astro. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade card is numbered to 15. Okay. Woo, I hit the camera, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> I hit the camera with the box. I think I did. Yeah. Yikes. Lion Richardson for my Cincinnati Reds. Numbered to 35. Grayson Rodriguez. Orioles. Numbered to 5. Oh, Sean Jelly. You guys know I love some Sean Jelly. That is for uh, the Giants. And it is numbered to 25. This is the first one of him I have pulled out of um, Valiant. And this is what our third case. And that's the first Sean Jelly I've seen. I like it though. Oh, and Joey Bart's right behind it. So back to back Giants hits. That's numbered to 99. Our graded card, well, Stang Lover, it's almost as if you wrote a wish list to Santa. It is Jonathan India for the Cincinnati Reds, graded to 9.5, autograph grade to 10, card number to 99. Stang Lover and Chemo both basically kind of, you know, had a, had a wish list. And they are both finding their wish list being fulfilled tonight. The mojo is flowing for them both tonight. Oh, they don't have him on the checklist? Really? Are you sure? Because, I mean, for sure that is a... I mean, that's like, you know, sometimes we'll find a card that came from another card set. We had that happen the last time. But, I mean, that's clearly intended to be Valiant. They must have just left him off the checklist. But... Anyway, he's definitely a giant. For sure, he's a San Francisco giant. Grant Levine and the Colorado Rockies are numbered to 99. Adam Kloffenstein, Stein, Toronto Blue Jays to 99. Oh, there's Travis Swaggerty, Pittsburgh Pirates. First I've seen of him, too, numbered to 10. Mr. Joe Adele. That is for the Angels, numbered to 99. He's trying to, he was trying to slide out of that top loader. Our graded card, one, Casey Mize. Somebody asked for the Tigers a moment ago, along with the Red Sox. We haven't found your Red Sox, but we've got your Tiger. That is 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade card is numbered to 25. Yeah, I don't know, Stanglever. I didn't pull it up off the Leaf website, uh, honestly, because their checklist is most often, once you see it for the first baseball product of the year, they tend to keep almost exactly the same checklist. It's not entirely, but th there's a few points of difference, but not a ton. So I didn't look. I just assumed he was in here. Owen White for the Rangers to 99. Chemo says he saw him on the card on the checklist published on Cardboard Connection. So yeah, he must. I don't know. I don't know. Stang lover. Why well, didn't see him? Josh Stowers to thirty-five Yankees. William Contreras to ninety-nine Atlanta Braves. There's another Casey Mize. Tigers uh, coming up again. That one numbered to fifteen. Our graded card. Oh, did I not tell you that Chemo and Stanglover wrote a letter to Santa? It is Nolan Gorman graded for the St. Louis Cardinals. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade. It card is numbered to 25. All right, it is last box mojo time, kids. Let's see if we can pull something awesome here. We have Mason Denneberg for the Nationals. It is to 99. Behind that is Michael Grove to 25. I never remember him. Bear with me. He's a Dodger. Dodger, Dodger. I have to write down the ones I can't remember. 
Jordan Groshans to 99 is uh, a Blue Jay. Boy, Toronto was sweating it out, weren't you? You're thinking you didn't have a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Oh, next to last card. There he is, and he's numbered to 10. So, Toronto, you were probably nervous, but last box mojo delivered for you. And then Owen White for the Texas Rangers is our final graded card. 9.5 card grade, 10 autograph grade, card numbered to 99. Okay, so... Kids, let's recap this here. And here's what's going to happen. We'll, I'm not going to read off all of the names and teams and numbers and all that again, because if we did all that, it would be pretty much um, just exactly like doing the break again. So instead of doing the whole break again, we're just going to kind of hold them up. We'll flip through them here and... Uh, Give you a chance to look at them that way one more time. And Stang Lover, you said you printed yours from Group Break Checklist and they don't have them on theirs. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, guys, these third-party checklists, they, they do stuff like that. Um, they sometimes put something on a wrong team or they will... Uh, forget somebody or they, they do make mistakes on those sometimes. That's why I always say we go by the official checklist from either Tops or Panini or Leaf such as it is. Uh, but of course the Leaf, they don't ever list the teams and for baseball. Henceforth, we do current teams. Yeah, so that's the deal. Hi, Kimo. <laughs> Kimo, you said I delivered your uh, your side of mojo for tonight. <laughs> well, good. I'm I'm glad. I think you were due to hit uh, to hit some big ones. You have been chasing him for a few breaks now, so so good. I'm glad we managed to to get you some in there. And I know Stang Lover had been chasing some for a few breaks too. We got a few headed his way off of his wish list too. So. Timothy says he lost the feed. Um, I don't, everybody else okay there, guys? Uh, I'm thinking, Timothy, maybe if you're on like a mobile device or something, maybe you just, maybe you dropped a connection, perhaps. I mean, it's showing okay on my side. I do tend to keep an eye on that. So if something funky happens, you know, I would know it. Alan J., you're out of here. All right, we'll catch you the next time then. So, Owen White for the Rangers to 9.5. A little Nolan Gorman for the St. Louis Cardinals to 9.5. Casey Mize, Detroit Tigers, 9.5. Jonathan India for my Cincinnati Reds, 9.5. And there's Seth Beer for the Astros at 9.5. Oh, Thomas, you said you don't have it either. So, like, right now, you when you're trying to watch the break, there's, what are you seeing then? There's, like, nothing? Because I have, I'm, like, when I'm watching it on my iPad, I do see it still moving along. There's uh, Acuna for the Braves to 9.5. Josh Stowers for the Yankees with that perfect black label 10. Yeah, I don't see any problems with it on my side, guys. I don't know what... I don't know what's going on there then. Huh. Weird. Jordan Adams for the Angels. So you said that you, when you refreshed, it was back, but you missed some. It sounds like a, just a connection issue, guys. My feed did not drop from my side, as in my internet did not go down. Jackson Coar to 9.5 for the Royals. Uh, this is for the Orioles to 9.5 with Caden Griner. Grenier. Mason Denneberg, 9.5 for the Nationals. And Logan Gilbert, 9.5 for the Mariners. Okay, so that is the break and the recap. And, um, oh, Timothy, you said you'll just, you'll catch what you missed back. So you dropped out during the recap, during the recap, it sounds like. Okay. So here's, here's the deal on that, guys. We will, um, you're going to have a couple of different options to watch it while, uh, let me get our spreadsheet info back up here too. So here's the thing. There is an archive, 
our blah, 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 blah. there is a YouTube archived version of the break, and that usually becomes available an hour or two after the break ends. There is also the the version that I upload, and I upload that anywhere within 24 hours after break ends. Uh, it'll it'll show up in there. The only difference between what I upload and what YouTube archives is that I add the tags and titles to make it easy to search. So I will uh, go ahead and try to get the upload done here shortly. I don't know which one will finish first. In other words, the one I do or the one YouTube archives, but one or the other or both of them would should be available to watch in the next um, actual, I don't know, maybe hour or two, something like that. Okay, guys, so the breaks that are coming up tomorrow night, we're going to open encased football and select basketball, both by the full case. Sunday is an off night. I'm going to enjoy all, uh, you know, planning out my brackets on selection Sunday. On Monday, we'll open Valiant Baseball again and National Treasures Football again. Tuesday, we'll open a half case of Heritage Baseball. It's the back half of the case that we already started. Wednesday, we're going to open those four Origins football first off-the-line boxes that have been sitting here for a while. And then Wednesday is the release day for Inception Baseball and Cornerstones Basketball. We'll open a full case of each of those. Then finally, uh, the shipping info again, anticipating Monday for the paid breaks on or before Friday a week from today on the multi-sport jersey. Usually goes out sooner, but that would be the latest you would get it. Consolation cards, you guys heard me talk about that. You know the deal there. It'll be shipping out with the rest of the break if you're in the paid break or with your next package that ships if you're in the free shipping breaks. And I didn't mean to go back to that spreadsheet because we don't need it. All right, so I think that has uh, got everybody caught up and covered in chat there. Oh, and Chemo said um, that you guys can, if you clear your cache by hitting Control shift r that it will help if, uh, for those of you who might have problems with, I guess, uh, things dropping out or having to refresh to get the feedback or whatnot. So thank you, Chemo, for that tip. So hopefully that will help some of you out as well. And I think that's uh, got me covered for tonight. Oh, Thomas, you're asking Owen White, were there any other Rangers? I don't remember any others off the top of my head that don't absolutely quote me on that Thomas it's always possible there's another one that I'm not thinking of but Owen White's the only one I recall off the top of my head for tonight for the Rangers all right guys enjoy the start of your weekend we will be back at it tomorrow night hopefully we'll see you again sometime soon enjoy it bye now